polls tomorrow. Turnout is expected to be down considerably from last year's presidential election. Polls open at 6.30 a.m. They close at 7.30 tomorrow night. There are a few relocated precincts. 17A has been moved to Hudson Elementary School on Lexington Avenue. 17D, Linmore Middle School on Hamilton Avenue. And 32C is at the Franklin Township Firehouse. Do you plan to vote tomorrow? Well, we invite you to be part of our website poll. To do that and to get a complete guide, log on to our website, NBC4Columbus.com, and click on the Live Vote icon and Decision 2001 icon. Explaining the news of U.S. military action in Afghanistan to children is not easy, but who better to provide perspective than those who've already served our country? Here's News Channel 4's Anitra Hamper with the story. 1943 seems like a long time ago for many middle school students, but for these eighth graders at Carr Middle School in Dublin, World War II was sitting right in front of them. That was a pack of cigarettes that I had in my breast pocket when I was wounded, and the holes are the shell fragments of a mortar shell. Gene Slagle is a World War II veteran. He's one of several veterans sharing stories and war mementos with students. Most of these students say they have a renewed sense of patriotism and a renewed respect for America's military in light of recent events. And I think it's really interesting to learn about like where they went and what they did. This year I can actually ask them what their feelings are about what happened on September 11th. And it's like I'm more interested in what they have to say because they're actually feeling what's happening now. Conflicts from around the world and from different decades hit home with these eighth graders as they hear history firsthand. After September 11, the students have a real visual idea how important our armed forces are to us. So now there's a, an easier way to reach them. These are stories from the Korean War, World War II, Vietnam, and the Persian Gulf that these students won't find in history books. One guy over there was talking about submarines. I wasn't really into it, but when he spoke about it, it was really interesting. In Dublin, Anitra Hamper, News Channel 4. The coordinator for this program says the student veteran interviews went so well today that they plan on making this an annual event. Well, diagnosing a speech or language problems early can lead to strong reading skills for kids. Oh.